What's going on, guys? This is Mr. Teach. This is the 66 movie reviews. I am Mr. Teach. Today is a segment I've done for a while now. It's called Mr. Teach 66 Drunken Reviews. It's where I'm just drunk and I review a movie. You know what can I say? No bullshit. It is today's movie review is 1984's The Karate Kid. Directed by John G. Abelson, starring Ralph Macchio and Pat Morita. As you can see, I wore my Cobra Kai shirt because this is one of my favorite movies of all time. It's my favorite, like, 80s movies of all time. It is the story of Daniel LaRusso, played by Ralph Macchio. He travels to L.A. from New Jersey, and he's, you know, the weird kid out. Not very, you know, fit in. He doesn't really belong, and... He encounters a group of bullies, and they beat the sh shit out of him. And he he meets Mr. Miyagi, played by Pat Morita, who teaches him martial arts because the kids, you know, from the Cobra Kai own martial arts. And, you know, he just learns to defend himself and is one of the great dramatic films of all time. I mean, how they begin. Ralph Macchio is every man. He is the loser, you know, the, you know, the, the outcast, like me, and he doesn't fit in, and he's just a weirdo, and, you know, he just doesn't fit in, and Mr. Miyagi takes him under his wing and teaches him that there is, there is something better in life than just being alone, and it's just, it's a film about... Trying to find who you are inside, and it just moves me so much. And Ralph Macchio is fantastic as the weirdo nerd loser who doesn't fit in. He's kind of, you know, I never moved when I was a kid, but I understand how he feels, and it's just... This is a very special movie to me. It's just, it's a very, you know, like, you have to be that age to understand this movie. It's an 80s movie, and it is dated. You know, he finds his first love, and it's a fleeting thing, and it's a fantastic movie. The glue that holds this movie together is Pat Morita. He is just, he's what you want. He's a mentor. He is everything you would want to be. He's a quiet, tough kind of guy. And yet there's... Pat Morita makes him human. He makes him into a person you can relate to. He's... You know, you, you get the sense he's a very, you know, tough guy. And yet there's... There's a part where he's drunk like me. Where he is utterly human. And it is just... This movie, like, moves me. It The friendship that develops between Miyagi and Daniel is utterly... It's about... It, 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 it just, it's about cultural differences. Like, you overcome them. And just see that, like, there's... Pe there's, you know... It's a film about people coming together who just, like... Their cultural differences aside... It is one of the most wonderful films I've ever seen. And it just, there, there's a part where Daniel goes to Miyagi. You're the best friend I've ever had. And it's utterly moving. And I will never forget it. And I will just like... Remember there, the cultural difference is like... The, 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 the fucking Trump administration tries to put up on us. It will never be the, like that. I will never see anybody else, you know, cultural, you know, whoever, the Indian, Hindu, Muslim, I will never, I will not see the differences between any of us. We are all human, and like, I'm rambling. I would say this is probably the most drunken review I've ever done in my entire life. I don't care. That the karate kid is. There's a part at the end where he goes, you know, I'll never find balance. Inside, until I find it within myself, it is just, 
kids be right here. This is probably the most drunken review I've ever done. The, the Karate Kid. Like, it's, um, it is a film you need to watch. I don't care. I'm drunk as shit. This is one of the most unforgettable films of my entire life. If you've never seen this movie, you need to watch it right now. Because it isn't about martial arts. It's about, like, the human connection between all of us. Anyway, that yeah, I'm drunk. I don't care. It's Mr. T66. I'll review a rating wise. I would give this movie like a 4.8. No, 4.5. It's a little dated. Some of the 80s romantic shit. It's not the greatest in the world, but I don't care. It's fine. You know what? It's Mr. T66. 4.5. Drunken review. Yeah, watch this movie. Anyway, that's Mr. T. 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 T